Let's take a look at the gameplay for KSB2B. So the cameras that we have, here's a look at the control room that we're going to go into. We were in the entry. And we are going to go into the control room and select these shapes that are keys to unlock elevators. And these elevators allow us to run along these catwalks and take elevators down to the next catwalk. So we have a series of four elevators that we have to unlock with these keys to be able to get down to the lower level. And at the lower level, once we have successfully unlocked the elevators, we're going to um, stand on this gray platform, and that's the uh, platform for our catapult. And we will have earned some power tubes, and that's going to allow us to uh, hit the B key, as in boy, and that will launch the catapult, and it will throw us over the, um, the pit of solvent, and we'll land on the far side. You can see these sections, they're terraced. Section 4 is the upper um, terrace. That's the one that we want to get to, uh, because if we get up that high by earning the most um, power tubes, then we can collect more energy gems and increase our energy score before we leave the level. And eventually we leave the level by going out this um, door. So we can take a look at our mini-map here and we can see that in the upper left we come in to KSB2B and we enter into the control room and that's where we find these shapes. And then we uh, leave the control room and go out onto the catwalk and we go down this series of elevators that we have to unlock until we get down to the bottom level. And you can see the pit of solvent that we have to be able to catapult across so that we can successfully exit and we're trying to earn these energy gems that are over here on the far side. Okay, so returning back to um, the main level, we're in the entry, so let's uh, open the door. And we find that we have uh, four keys. These are shapes that are going to be used to unlock the um, elevators. And how the gameplay is intended to reinforce the learning about surface area and heat flow is that we have to use these keys in the order of the shape that's going to dissipate heat the fastest, the one that's going to have the greatest surface area and therefore allow the greatest um, amount of heat flow to happen is the key that we have to use first. And we have to use um, them in sequence so that we use the the one that's dissipating the fastest first and then the next fastest and then the next fastest and then finally we unlock the fourth elevator, the one that's farthest away by using the shape that has the least surface area. So these shapes are all the same volume and we have a sphere and a cylinder and a cube and a square base pyramid. So those are our four shapes. So how we pick them up is uh, we just get close enough that we can left click on them. And when we left click on them, then we can see that we have them in our hand. And uh, if we don't want a shape that we picked up, we just hit the Q key, just like back in the cable volume, and uh, that drops the shape and it goes back to its original position. So we can select these in whatever order we want. Now, our, our best um, method of playing is to, uh, if we don't know uh, innately, is to calculate um, using our calculator and determine the surface area uh, of these shapes. But we're just going to, for the purpose of this demo, we're just going to um, know that the sequence that we want to use these in is the square base pyramid is going to be first, and then the cube, and then the cylinder, and then the sphere. They happen to be in reverse order from, from right to left here as we're looking at them on the screen. So I'm going to pick up the square base pyramid and move along the control room here. Now you can see that as in the other levels, as I sprint for each two seconds of time of continuous sprinting, I lose one energy point. And I come out here onto the catwalk and I'm going to navigate along until I get to this lock. So what I need to do now is I need to deposit my key into the lock by just clicking on it. And when I click on the lock, then my key is going to automatically go into the lock. And when it does, now this elevator is active and I can take this elevator down. So i show you, here it is an example, I just step onto it and as soon as I do, then the elevator um, takes me down. To go back up at any time, then I just step back onto the elevator again and it's going to um, take me back up. 
So now I'm going to go into the control room and get the next key. And I know that that's going to be the cube, so I pick up the cube. It's a little bit easier for me to navigate here if I get in close and look down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go down to the next level. And as I get to this catwalk and move along, I'm going to earn an energy gem. That gives me some more energy points. And now I deposit that key. I don't need to test this elevator because I, I know that the elevator is going to work if it accepts my key. So it's going to take me back up. Okay, so far so good. Now I need the third key. So I'll come back over here. I know that I'm going to pick up my cylinder. And now I'll go down to the second level. And this elevator is activated by the last key, so now I can go down to the next level. And earn another energy gem along the way. Deposit this in the lock. There we go. And all I do to deposit it in the lock is just left click on it. And I'll go back up to the control room for my last key. Okay, now I have my final key and I'm ready to go down the last elevator. So now I'm, I have all of the elevators that are going to be activated. There isn't any shortcut, so I have to uh, I have to activate the elevators in order to leave the silo, and I only have one correct sequence, so there is one one set of one order of operations here. Okay, now I'm going to put my sphere in there, and I've activated this elevator. That's the last one. And now I'm dropping down to the ground level. And I can see there's an energy gem over there. I'm going to go get that. And then I'm going to exit the silo. And come out here to the cavern floor. So we'll just take a we'll just take a little bird walk over here and we'll see that here's our cavern uh, pit that has solvent in there. We can't get across to this other door. So the only way we can get over there is with our catapult. We've earned three power tubes because all of our answers were correct the first time. So we have maximum power for our um, catapult. So I'm going to put my character uh, directly in the center of my catapult here. I'm going to change cameras so that I can watch him um, get catapulted. Now I'm ready to go. All I need to do is hit the B key, as in boy, and it's going to launch me um, as far as the three power tubes can take me. Woohoo! So off I go. I'm up on the top platform. Change my camera. Go back to my regular view. And I can see that up here on this top platform there are four energy gems. And each of them is worth 20 points. There is no way that I can get up here um, if I'm not catapulted. So I can jump down. Like right now I need to go down to the next level. So I'm just going to walk down there. There's uh, there's no way that I can do that um, if I don't... I can go down, but I can't jump up. So the only way that I earn those extra energy points is by getting catapulted up there. That's my that's my main motivation, since energy, is, energy and achievements are what I'm trying to collect in the game. So I've collected all the gems on this end, and now I'm coming down to the last level. 
and then I'm going to go over to the door here which will be activated and now I've completed this level and I'm ready to exit and go on to the next challenge which is um, KSB2C. So I'm going to restart and show you a couple other um, features of the gameplay. So let's say I pick up the wrong one. Let's say I pick up the sphere first. And I need to activate the first elevator. So when I come over here and get lined up, now I'm close enough to be able to um, activate my lock, certainly. But when I click on it, left click, um, I can't put my key in, but I get a feedback that says, sorry, wrong key. Um, recalculate, try another. So I need to go back and get a different key. So I just come back here and, and hit Q, and now I can pick up the correct key. So when I come over here and I'm going to deposit my key, then it's, it's going to unlock my elevator and I can take my elevator down. I'm going to go down to the next level. So I get down here to the next level and what happens if I uh, fall? What happens if I fall down into the um, bottom of the silo? Because it's easy to fall off the catwalk. They're not very... Uh, so I'm going to... If I hit the silo floor before I've unlocked my elevators, I automatically get respawned at the top. So as you can see, I fell onto the silo floor and as a result, then, my, my uh, character is respawned here at the entrance to the um, control room. So anytime I should fall, I'm going to be respawned here. And then it's going to... I'm, I don't have any penalty for doing that other than the, the lost time. So I get respawned here, and I can go back, and I can get my um, next key that I need, and I can go on to my next elevator and my first elevator has been regenerated and it's back up here at the top so I can use that and it's been turned on so that's, uh, that's how I can um, continue on uh, if I accidentally fall off the catwalk which will um, be something that, that can very easily happen especially when I'm first playing it.